Well, good morning. What I'm trying to do today is uh, hardwire this 400 watt um, inverter. It's just a modified watt, a sine wave inverter. Just a little cheap one. Um, but uh, I've been using it using this uh, the cigarette lighter plug with a plug that's just around the corner there. But I find that uh, that it just doesn't have a lot of power coming through. The wire coming to the cigarette lighter is, or the, the plug around the corner is quite just a thin, small gauge wire. And uh, so I really, and this will take up to a maximum of 40 amps in. I think it's only like a 10 or 15 amp uh, breaker on that, or um, fuse on the wire that's coming in. So I'm not getting a lot of juice here. So what I would like to do, as you can see, I've got my converter panel open here. Uh, it's got my 110 on the left and the 12 volt stuff on the right. And if you can see that thick red wire right in the center there, that's the wire coming from our battery. That's got the highest voltage. So, so, so I've got my little voltmeter here and it's set on uh, DC 20 volts right now, but that's so I got to not enough hands here. Let's see. Put the ground into the case. We'll find the a little hard to do this. Connect it there. Let's see I can get right now 12 volts. 0.14 volts, a little low. I think my batteries are a little weak. I need to be in the charger, but that's what I'm getting. It's got, and I said that that power gets distributed through all this stuff. I don't. Uh, it's the converter converts the 110 into 12 volts. So when you're plugged in, bypass and whatnot, it goes through these fuses. So these four fuses, those distribute the power out into the rest of the rest of the motorhome. But like I said, these are maximum 15 amp fuses. So what I think I'm going to do is get a high, uh, large gauge wire, connect it directly to this terminal, and put a. Right now I've got a connector. If I can find it, there we go. I've got an old fuse holder that right now is a 25 amp fuse in it. I could probably get a larger one, a 40 amp fuse to match the inverter. So I get some higher gauge wire, connect it there. Oh, I see this, actually this wire is pretty thin too. Okay, well I may have to get a, yeah, okay. I'm gonna have to get it. Think about that. That'll be the thin part. Yeah, I may have to get a, a fuse holder with a larger gauge wire and then get that larger wire connected directly to the inverter. I'll probably wire it through the panel here, come up and connect it in beside here or something. So let's see what I can find and where it goes. Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry, I haven't been filming much. I need to get a good holder for the camera. So I went out and got a uh, heavy duty fuse uh, holder and got a 30 amp fuse, the green one there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, and of course I ran out of solder, so I went with the solderless connectors. Not the best, but it'll work. And uh, so connected it to the main red wire there, out through the back grommet. Right now the wire is just free. I got to connect it in behind. So you can see that. I don't know if you can see that red wire coming up. <clears throat> and just went through the existing out uh, outlet there. Oh, I got to get a better job because that's uh, not the best way of doing it. But it's connected for now. So under the and of course all I had was red wire. So I've got my anyways. I end up check double checked everything here. Uh, so this is my hot wire. I'm going to my input or my um, positive and this goes in behind into a ground in 
behind here. Not the not the the panel itself, but there's a a main ground wire back there, so I connect it into the main ground wire. Uh, yeah, this, this is not the best way of doing this. Uh, like I said, I, I want to get a an actual uh, outlet here, so I'll just disconnect these and put a put a nice looking um, hole in the wall here, outlet, so it's not a ground issue. Come back in and connect it and connect this through. But you can see the power's on, and uh, you can see exactly what it was intended to be, to be at least. So now that I have a my inverter here for some of those uh, you know items that don't require a, a sign, pure sine wave inverter, because uh, at this point I don't have one of those. But that's connected, and everything's nice and handy. So I'll button this up and. Uh, Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.